Here we are at number two Dunheaved Road, arguably one of the most popular streets in Launceston, very close to the town centre and all the facilities that come with it and easy access to the A30. This property also has plenty of parking at the front and the side. Um, but just look at the high ceilings and the lovely staircases. I would imagine the property was built early 1900s, though I don't have any proof of that. You've got wonderful bay windows and um, the windows are original sash windows as well. They are single glazed, but they're lovely really nice the high ceilings take chandeliers in most rooms and some lovely mirrors that are dotted around fireplaces I'm sure they could be reopened if you wanted to um i'm gonna take you straight into the kitchen you'll see here you've got a rayburn now the rayburn runs the heating system which consists of the rayburn and one radiator so there is definitely room for scope with a nice new heating system. I would imagine a nice new gas boiler. There's gas to the road, but they're unfortunately not to the property as far as we know. So comprehensively fitted out kitchen there. Lots of cupboards, shaker style. You've got a great view out of this window over to the garden. It's a horrible day, so I'm not gonna take you right outside. Um, and you can see you've got lovely views there over to some ancient fields there. So into this room, which um, is called the snug for obvious reasons. It's a little bit smaller, but it could be a dining room quite easily. You've got a fireplace there as well. And I should show you the chandeliers. Look at how big the windows are. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'll take you back into the hall and uh, just show you to the left there. There's a really useful huge cupboard with a window at the end as well this property is detached we're going to go upstairs first here we go up these lovely stairs and we're going to get to land in with yet another chandelier and we're going to take you into the main bedroom which is absolutely ginormous as big as the living room downstairs again high ceilings bay window fireplace if you want it chandeliers different one there and uh, then bathroom which is just the only bathroom really so you've got the toilet bath there handheld shower and sink i'm sure you could make improvements to that if you wanted to small cupboard at the top of the stairs there in here oh in that small cupboard You've got the airing cupboard, so you've got the hot water cylinder. So this is the smallest bedroom, which is quite big. And you can see fireplace there, probably a bit more ornamental, really. Then into the second bedroom, which is, again, a good size. I mean, all, all these with the right plumbing, I'm sure you could put in en suite at least to so give you another bathroom, really. Right, we're gonna have a little trip all the way down the stairs, right down the bottom to the basement. So you've got a nice entrance hall there, takes you to the front and uh, follow the stairs all the way down to the basement area. It's all carpeted down here, there's a, there's a cupboard there. It's vast, it's most of the underneath of the property. That's good size. You could have put, I could have a game of ping pong if you wanted. And then you've got this room here, which leads on out into the garden. If you see, again, still raining, not stopped yet. And then into another room here, which could be used as a utility or anything really. 